Welcome to this informational video on programming instructions for the Pitco Solsys Digital Controller. This video will review all aspects of operation and programming for the Pitco Solstice Digital Controller. We will also review operator functions, store manager programming, as well as technician and factory programming. There are five keys on the front of the controller. The on-off key, the program key, temperature key, and two timer keys. There is also a heat indicator light which illuminates when the fryer is heating. To turn the controller on, press the power switch. The display will show, for two seconds, the current setting for the appliance type. We will review the appliance types later in the video. The display will then change to one of the normal operating displays of either drop, heat, melt cycle, or dashes if the temperature is below 150 degrees. To turn the controller off, press and hold the power switch for three seconds until the display shows off. You can start a cook timer when the display shows either drop or the proper temperature for the product you wish to cook. Simply press a basket key to start a cook timer. To cancel or stop a cook timer, press the basket key until the light above the key turns off. You may have both timers running at the same time, however only the timer which is closest to zero time will be displayed. The light above the timer which is being displayed will be flashing, while the other timer light will remain solid. Pressing the temperature key once will display the current temperature of the oil in the vat. Pressing it a second time will display the set temperature. To enter the programming for the store manager, press the program key. If the display shows lock, press the left timer key twice, followed by the right timer key twice to unlock and continue with programming. The indicator light above the left side timer will illuminate. The display will show the current timer setting for that timer. Using the up and down keys, you can adjust the timer in 5 second increments. Once the timer is set correctly, press the program key to save. Now set the right side timer in the same manner as the left timer button. Press the program button to save and move to the next option. To change the set temperature, press either the up or down arrow to adjust set point by 1 degree increments. Once the set point is properly set, press the program key to save and continue to the next option. The display should now show the current setting for the melt cycle. CYL is for liquid, CYS is for solid, and CY0 is for a no melt cycle setting. Once set to the correct setting for your shortening type, press program to save and move on to the next option. The display will now show the current lock status of the programming. U-lock means unlocked or lock or lock means that it is locked and requires a passcode to get into the programming. Press the up or down key to change the lock setting for future entry into the programming menus. When set, press program to save and continue to the next option. The display should now show the current temperature scale setting, either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Press the up and down arrow to change the setting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Once set correctly, press the program button to save and continue to the next option. This completes the options for the store manager level of programming. To exit from this menu, press the program button and the display should return to one of the normal operating displays. To enter into the next level of programming, while the display reads tech, press both the left and the right arrow keys together for approximately 3 seconds. The display should now show the current setting of the standing pilot option. SP0 is off and SP1 means that the standing pilot will be active. When set correctly, press the program button to save and move on to the next option. The display now shows the current lift basket setting. LIF2 means both left and right outputs to the lifts are active. LIF0 means no lift basket outputs are active and LIF1 means only the left side output is active. 
Once set correctly, press the program key to save and move on to the next option. Oil temperatures can be displayed rather than normal operating displays. T0 is the normal setting for the displays and T1 is selected to display oil temperatures. The T1 setting is intended as an aid to troubleshooting the fryer performance only. This setting should always be returned to the T0 setting for normal operation. Once set correctly, press the program key to save and go on to the next option. The display should now show the current appliance type the controller is set for. APL1 is selected for gas appliances, APL2 is selected for electric appliances, and APL3 is for a general thermostatically controlled appliance. Once set correctly for the appliance type of your equipment, press the program key to save and move on to the next option. The display should now show an option for a control point offset. This adjustment allows the control point to be adjusted to account for differences between probe tip temperatures and center of vat oil temperatures. The adjustment range is plus or minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the up and down keys to adjust. The factory default values are as follows. APL1 equals negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit. APL2 equals negative 3 degrees Fahrenheit. And APL3 is 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Proper equipment and expertise is required to properly adjust this value. Keep in mind that even small changes may negatively affect cooking performance. Once set correctly, press the program key to save and continue to the next option. The display should now show another offset value called the display value offset. This adjustment allows the displayed value of the control for the temperature to be adjusted to account for differences between the probe tip temperature and the set point. Both control and display offset values have the same factory defaults. Once set correctly, press the program key to save and to exit programming. The display should now return to a normal display and you have now finished programming your Pitco Solstice digital controller. Occasionally you will encounter a few basic air codes. Drain turn off means the drain valve switch has been detected open. To reset, close the drain valve or repair replace any needed parts or wiring. Turn the controller off and back on. This control will also detect faulty probe conditions. If temperature probe faults are detected, display will show one of two possible conditions. It will either say probe or high. All other functions of the equipment are disabled. To reset, repair or replace the needed components, turn control off and then on. Thank you for watching this video on programming the Pitco Solstice Digital Controller. If you need further assistance, please contact us via our website at www.pitco.com or calling 603-225-6684.